underdogs. This team is flat good. They are. If you look at them over their last three years, they're amongst the best in baseball. I look at winning percentages. And they've been a team that's always had to do things differently. Small market. They have to find ways to win. And boy, have they done that recently. Jimmy Rollins played in five postseasons and, of course, won a world championship against the Rays here. Everyone says postseason experience matters. I'm not sure that applies to these guys. One of the youngest teams and one of the most talented teams in the American League. And I definitely agree. Uh, these guys have names on the back of their jerseys. They've been here before. It was just a matter of time. If you ask each one of them, it was just waiting on them to get up to the big leagues and we'll make a difference. And, boy, have they made a difference. A, a great season so far, but they're are up against the Rays, a team that they've played well, so they have nothing to be worried about. Game one, so important, obviously, in a three-game series. Pitching matchup in this one. Now, Charlie Montoyo is saving his ace for game two, Hinjin Ryu. Matt Shoemaker, who's had success against the Rays, goes for the Blue Jays. He may not be in there for long. And Blake Snell is the ace of this Rays staff, a Cy Young winner two years ago. Well, buckle up. This is going to be fun. These two teams know each other. They've played ten times. Every game was a meat grinder. Game one of the wild card series, Blue Jays and Rays, coming up. Last eight to secure the eighth spot. They almost got to the five spot. And this is Charlie Montoyo's lineup. A lot of familiar names, sons of Hall of Famers. Kevin Biggio, Bo Bichette, Randall Gritchick, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Lourdes Gurriel is a player to watch as well. So is Teoscar Hernandez. Jonathan Villar, versatile at second. Alejandro Kirk gets a start as a designated hitter, a young slugger. And Danny Jansen does the catching. Blake Snell is the ace. And of course, last year, an injury-filled year, he had loose bodies taken from his elbow, and without a proper spring training in that summer camp, he's had a little trouble getting rolling, but he feels like he is ready to go. Of course, a Cy Young Award winner two seasons ago. Defense. Kevin Cash has a lot of versatile players, and this is a good defensive team. Mike Zunino, terrific receiver, good thrower, works with Snell. On the infield, all these guys are versatile. Willie Adamas is an underrated shortstop. And in the outfield, guys that can go get it, especially the man in center field, maybe the best outfielder defensively in the game, Kevin Kiermeyer. It's postseason baseball. Six umpires, Carlos Torres gets home plate, Chris Conroy, Lance Barksdale, Larry Vanover, and with the O-rings in the roof, it's nice to have a couple in the outfield, Paul Nart and David Rackley. They walk a lot, and they win a lot of close games, and that's a credit to that man, Kevin Cash. His lineup, Tutsugo, who has yet to get on track. Brandon Lau is a terrific player, an all-star last year. Randy Arena too. Nate Lowe, Willie Adamas, Joey Wendell, Manuel Margot, Kiermaier in the eighth spot, Zunino hits ninth. Matt Shoemaker, a surprise starter for the Blue Jays. You can see his season, just six starts. He missed a month with shoulder inflammation, and his last four seasons in the big leagues have been marred by a lot of injuries. Tsutsugo going after the first pitch. Grichik. And there's one out. This is a young team. We've established that. They're, how shall I say this, still learning defensively. Danny Jansen is behind the plate. Good receiver for Shoemaker. Pichette's the shortstop. Biggio is normally a second baseman. He's at third. Villar's at second. Guerrero's at first. Grichik can go get him in center. Hernandez and Guriel can throw from the corners. And by still learning, they are a work in progress defensively. The lack of a proper spring training, a short summer camp, 